So obviously it's a big day for IBM today. The mainframe has turned 50. But I believe that the company's got some big technologies that it's looking to for the future, like mobile and cloud. Steve, what can you tell us about that? Well, the mainframe is just another computer in the sense that it does the same type of work that any other system does. Uh, and we've made the mainframe very adaptive to new workloads. Uh, in fact, uh, we have many customers now that uh, are doing online banking through mobile devices directly connected uh, into the mainframe uh, environment. You want to do an account lookup, uh, move some money around, you can do that from your mobile device and you're literally connecting all the way through to a mainframe. So, I mean, specifically in terms of the technology that you've announced today, I mean, kind of what, what areas are you looking at there? Kind of what types of things are going to be the, the hot button topics for mainframes moving forward? Well, the hot button topic for the mainframe uh, is both to do what it has always done well and continue to do it as well, actually better is what our customers are always asking for, you know, cheaper, better, faster. So we're forever innovating uh, around the core of what our mainframe systems are valued for. And then it's making it adaptive to all these new kinds of workloads. Uh, so as part of today's 50th anniversary announcement, uh, we're going to be talking about some, uh, uh, some new capabilities and new, new pricing terms to help customers uh, bring more of that mobile workload uh, onto the mainframe. You know, we've embraced Linux, which is the industry's popular uh, open operating system environment. Uh, it's the operating environment it's used across most of the cloud environments that exist in the industry. Uh, and so the, this, this adoption of Linux on Z uh, has become a, a big, big push for the mainframe for IBM. So if, you, if I was, say, a service provider looking at using the system Z, um, hardware, you know, running the, the, a mainframe, kind of how would I be able to exploit these new technologies that you've launched? Well, you would see it as, as just a very large compute resource uh, that you can divide up into many, many individual systems. So literally thousands of individual Linux systems can be running on that mainframe. Um, and it is, in fact, an environment that, that service providers, business process, service companies, and of course, private clouds inside of corporations uh, have also moved onto the mainframe because it has a whole set of dynamic provisioning and scheduling capabilities for workload. So in terms of the industries that are using this, I believe that you've done some interesting work around banking, specifically in Africa, kind of. How are companies using mainframes there? Well, they view the, the mainframe as the reliable, scalable environment. You know, banks are seven by 24, absolute certainty, high reliability. You can't have a, um, literally a, you know, a second of outage. Uh, and the mainframe's durability and reliability is, makes it the popular system uh, for banks. And we now have banks across Africa, as you look at you know, Nigeria, Kenya, Ethiopia, Ghana, uh, Morocco, uh, uh, in all these countries across Africa, uh, the mainframe, in fact, has emerged as the platform of choice for next generation banking. So, and this would be mobile banking as well, which obviously is a huge deal in Africa, is that right? Well, all banks today have to have uh, a user-facing environment that deals with not just PC and laptop devices, but also mobile. And in Africa, mobile is the dominant uh, device. 